they had a recording of Meek and Diddy making love. <laughs> I don't know if it was love. Got okay, you have it. Let's hear it. Man, you doing it, man? You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. People who pick fights with people who don't want to fight, those are punks. Like there's a, a punks, Meek Mills. When, when I ran into him finally, he said, "Yo, come here, let me talk to you. I need to talk to you like a man on the side. Put me to the side." And he was talking. And I was looking at him, and I wanted to punch him. What could happen in 48 hours that completely shifts a person's life? For rapper Meek Mill, spending two days with music mogul Sean Diddy Combs proved to be a game changer. But this wasn't just about luxury and fame. It was about a whirlwind of events that would leave Meek Mill transformed forever, whether for better or worse. From wild party moments to controversial allegations, these two days with Diddy became the talk of the industry. People who pick fights with people who don't want to fight, those are punks. Like, there's a, a punks, Meek Mills. When, when I ran into him finally, he said, Yo, come here, let me talk to you. I need to talk to you like a man on the side, put me to the side. And he was talking, and I was looking at him, and I wanted to punch him. The stuff that he said, I wanted to punch him. And I didn't. I just looked at him, and I was like, Yo, I don't understand why you felt like that. You see what I'm saying? Because he was like, He's a battle artist. That's where you come from. So when he says something to Drake and then doesn't respond, and Drake says he's fat. I'm going, what happened? I was waiting for you. To, like, he was coming in the yet then with that. And then you didn't say nothing back. And he was like, he felt like I was kicking him when he was down because of how he felt with, you know, the momentum that Drake. Yeah, Go yeah, get yeah. busy. Like, and, and that's what he do anyway from the beginning. You know, and then. You had to respect him for saying, let's talk to the side. Though, that's right? why, yeah. yeah. That's why it never, it never turns into anything. Meek Mill and Diddy share more than just a mutual respect for each other's work. They share a bond that has been tested through highs and lows. From freestyling at Diddy's legendary parties to facing controversies together, Meek Mill's hours with Diddy were nothing short of dramatic. It is not just another celebrity hangout story. This connection had deeper consequences, shaking up Meek Mill's public image and his path forward in the typical Diddy bash, lavish, energetic, and packed with the biggest names in the industry. During Diddy's extravagant 50th birthday celebration, Meek Mill took center stage, Freestyling while reportedly fueled by Diddy's favorite drink, Ciroc. The internet exploded when footage of Meek's freestyle at this party surfaced, capturing him drunk, raw, and authentic in the moment. This party became a significant turning point in the friendship, bonding Meek Mill and Diddy even more. <laughs> buzz came from a poolside clip that showed Meek Mill dancing for Diddy, with Diddy playfully calling him Daddy. While some fans found the moment lighthearted and funny, others raised eyebrows, speculating whether there was something deeper behind the scenes. Hey, what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. As if the party scenes weren't wild enough, things took a more serious turn when rumors began swirling around Meek Mill's alleged relationship with Diddy. Gene Deal, Diddy's former bodyguard, dropped bombshell allegations, suggesting there was more to Meek Mill and Diddy's bond than just friendship. Gene even speculated about Meek dressing like Diddy and hinted at a possible romantic involvement between the two, setting social media on fire. You understand? And it was retracted, redacted in the paperwork to that because first of all, it had Meek Mills, it had Stevie J, they had redacted their names and they had Usher 
and they redacted their names and just said a uh, performer of the Super Bowl and a Philly rapper. Everybody kind of knew back in the day that Meek Mills and Puff was a little too friendly. Anytime two rappers or two people in the industry come dressed up alike on more than one occasion, they, my man, listen here, man. My dudes in Philly, I got some real strong dudes in Philly. They don't play that shit. And they probably embarrassed for the fact to see that Meek Mills, one of the street guys that came out of there, got caught up in this Holly weird shit. This Holly weird shit, whereas that he's dressing like, he dressing the same shit. He dressing like Diddy? Hugged up with Diddy? I think that Lil Rod know a lot of shit, but I know this. Two men dress alike, it's just like two men laying down. When they both get up, <laughs> they both homos. <laughs> and that's real talk, bro. My man, you come to, a, you go to a party, dog, and the nigga got the same shirt you got on, I'm taking my shirt off. I'm walking around in a t-shirt. And then, not to blow Meek Mills up out the water or anything like that, it was said that they checked his Google search and all the other shit, and he was searching for some online gay porn and all the other shit like that. Oh, wow. That shit is crazy, bro. But listen, those are those are what you know. It's crazy that money, that lifestyle, and you trying to fit into something get you. Meek Mill, however, did not seem too phased by the rumors. In fact, he appeared to brush off the controversy with humor, trolling the media in the aftermath of these wild allegations. Meek's ability to laugh off the situation shows how he handles public scrutiny, but some fans wonder if the rapper is just deflecting or if he's genuinely unaffected by the speculations surrounding his relationship with Diddy. Meek Mill chilling out the all the Diddy allegations. I have a scene. Get my mama some bands, just like you should a breeze. I done made the baddest of bitches get right down on their knees. Like surely she'll be praying to God. She really pray to me. Baby, if I never had money, would you be on my team? I check my phone before we fuck. She think we make it seems a year than I was on some Despite the trolling, the time spent with Diddy undeniably had a lasting impact on Meek's public image. In the midst of these wild stories, Diddy himself has faced mounting legal troubles, with Meek Mill somehow caught in the storm. After Diddy's arrest, fans eagerly waited to see how Meek would react. The rapper remained silent at first, fueling speculation about whether the legal drama had anything to do with the time he spent with Diddy. I'm at a point in my life like, we all grew up in the streets and we try to be better, but they labeled us felons, mm -hmm. sent us back to jail. I had to fight against that the whole time to gain my respect and be who I am today. And I'm proud of that. As if the Diddy controversy wasn't enough, Meek Mill's connections to other big industry figures have come under scrutiny too. 50 Cent, never one to shy away from drama, publicly clashed with Meek Mill, especially after Meek brought former G-Unit artist Trav on stage during a performance, which led to a heated confrontation. While this beef between 50 Cent and Meek may seem separate from Diddy's influence, many believe that Diddy's mentorship and connection with Meek have played a role in how he handles these industry conflicts. They said Big Mills, where my nigga at? Where Big Mills at? There you go. What's up, bro? Uh oh, What's up, bro? You know. Listen, hold up. Stop the music. Hold up, 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 hold up. Hey, this is 50 though. I'm 
love you, Sam, but we hear you. Know what I'm Yo, now listen, 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 hold on, hold on. All the DJs fuck with both of them. Y'all make some noise. Yeah. Hey, we, what's what we doing here? Get back to the joint, man. Get the joint. We, we, we got this up here. Get the joint, you know what I mean? These relationships show how Meek Mill's time with Diddy has impacted not just his image, but his standing in the music industry at large. Diddy's mentorship has its benefits, but it also comes with a fair share of risks. Meek Mill's time with Diddy was far more than just a party-filled adventure. The connection between the two has sparked endless rumors, industry tension, and allegations that Meek has had to navigate. While Meek has laughed off much of the drama, the long-term impact on his career is still unclear. Whether this experience will ultimately boost or tarnish his reputation remains to be seen. Diddy telling him, you work for it, daddy. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. What I'm dying to find out is that Meek Mill audio. Is Yo, real, yeah, bro. me too. I'm dying to hear that. Bro, I, I was reading uh, just last night. Actually, I was reading that it, they they already matched the audio to a porn. Oh, really? That uh, is not Meek. Oh, okay. Which I would fucking hope, bro, because the way they they talk, the way they laid out that story was perfect from the cheek clapping to him in the pool <laughs> and, and diddy telling him you work for it daddy, daddy you, you work, work for it. it you put in work it's like oh bingo. one of the most shocking rumors that emerged from meek mill's time with diddy involves claims from an insider big homie.cc alleges that diddy has incriminating footage of meek mill According to these rumors, if Meek Mill ever publicly denies the allegations surrounding his relationship with Diddy, the mogul could release compromising footage to the public. This has only added more mystery and tension to the story, leaving fans wondering just how deep this situation goes and whether Meek is staying silent to protect his image. You ever heard of Gene Deal? Yep, interviewed him. Okay, yeah. so like, Gene like, like 14 years older than me, 15 years older than me. You know what I'm saying? But you know, he was a probation officer. So he operated a little bit different. I was in the street full time, bro. You feel me? Like, I was outside in the field. So like, you know, you would hear Gene say when they got a threat on their life, Diddy told him, I'm not trying to hear that shit, Gene, because it's your job to be gangster. It's your job to, to, to get wild with people. That's what you're getting paid for. So when you see people like that coming out, it's because they know for a fact, like it's things that's going on, they don't agree with, but they not man enough to say, you know what? I'm not standing for this. So a lot of love me because if I see some guys doing something crazy to a female, hold on, but not in front of me. So that'll lead me to get like, oh, we ain't gonna hire him no more because he's not gonna allow this. So that's how like I ended up like whenever Iman will call me, I'm immediately coming because like he not on this strange shit y'all on. You know what I'm saying? That's why like if uh I don't want to say his name, I'm still on the contract with him. Um, hmm, let me be careful here. Let me be careful here, man. <laughs> let me be careful because uh. Hmm. That stuff about Diddy real, bro. What do you think about the Meek Mill accusations? <sighs> okay. Now, you know, I used to bodyguard Rocky Fresh who was signed to Rose. Yep. All right. Now, Meek said he wouldn't do a song with Rocky because Rocky wasn't street. All right. So little things that take place and people will expect certain things out of him. 
But now with some of this stuff's coming out, if you look at his body of work, it's, it's been strange things in his history. So then, you know, you go on his Twitter page, you, you, you click on his likes, bro. You see things that he's liking. That's questionable. Would you come up in here with a matching shirt with me? Hell no. Hell no. Ace, would you, would you pop out with a matching shirt with me, bro? <laughs> Style. Put that on something, you gonna pop out with, no, boy, it's not going like that, bro. Would you let me call you daddy? Hell no. No, bro. I've been saying this for years. I say, man, these boys strange, bro. The things they into is strange. I've seen so much. I've seen a lot, bro. So like with him, look how he responded to the situation. Not one time did he come out and say these things are a lie. Did you see that? Yep. He didn't say that. He didn't deny it. He, that's... No, he didn't deny nothing. Because if he deny it, what's going to come out? Footage. Mm. You think So you think Diddy has footage on Meek? For sure. He got cameras through his whole career. Every millionaire, billionaire I've been around, bro, they got... So I know what's going on. So if I go into the bathroom, I'm gonna cut the lights off, cut the flash on my phone, and look at the mirrors. If it's got that little hollow circle at the bottom, well, there's cameras in there. It's all, they're gonna be all through the crib. That's why most times I'm gonna chill in the car. As for Diddy, with his ongoing legal troubles and controversies, time will tell how much of an effect his influence will continue to have on Meek Mill's career and image. One thing's for sure, those 48 hours were life-changing for Meek Mill in ways both seen and unseen. Stay tuned, because in the unpredictable world of hip-hop, nothing is ever truly over.